Happy Homebury Wednesday, or Friday, as it is. Um, uh, still preparing for the brew day on Sunday. Uh, I have here a new fridge, Coolcast. So I'm going to yeah hook this guy. Sorry, I'm going to hook this guy up. Get some temperature control in there. So, what have we got? We have an Inkbird. Now, this is an Inkbird temperature controller. He plug him into the mains. Uh, he has a little temperature sensor. I'm not sure if that's a PT100 or a, uh, a K-type or whatever. Some sort of thermocouple, uh, which gives him the input. And if he says it's too hot, He'll switch on cooling, and if he says it's too cool, he'll switch on heating. So the heating circuit, I'm going to run through the wall of the fridge, uh, along with the PD100. Um, so for heating, I have a little ceramic... Uh, yeah, it looks like a light bulb socket. It is basically a light bulb socket with a, a little ceramic um, heater. So I'm going to use this. Uh, in combination, I will use one of my Axia Lufters um, to circulate the air and do all that shizam. So, I'm going to start building. First challenge is to drill through the side and I'll puncture a cooling pipe. Uh, good luck. So, the hole is drilled, as you can see. Six millimeter hole. And that's gone right through to the inside. And I'm going to install the heater at the bottom quite sensibly because heat rises, that's what you want. So the fan is, the fan is going to sit in the bottom there. Um, I'm not going to earth it because I don't think once it's installed I'll ever touch it. And that's where the risk comes. The rest of it is plastic so it's insulated so as long as I don't go near that fan while it's operational it should be okay. Could be wrong, please let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't want to kill myself. But I've got ground fault detection in the main box, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, so what I'm going to do, this is a little bit safer than normal. I was just going to connect the wires and hope for the best, but got a little project box, uh, inlet, outlet, uh, two waggle clips. So bring the main power uh, in here. One out for the fan, one out for the um, the heater, so in parallel, and then again the ground load in the same formation back to the plug socket. So pretty simple. I'm going to wire this up, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, we have all the wires for inside wired up. Uh, I haven't wired up the fan obviously, but I'll do that inside the fridge. Um, light bulb is wired up. They are all wrap together with heat shrink into two wagyu clips so I've just got to connect the two if it focuses the inlets to come in through there into the two spare connection points connect the fan and then this part is ready and then I will drill a hole and install the temperature transducer and then we're ready to test the everything's connected with the ink bird mounted on the side with a little rivet He's trying to control 25 degrees and the fan is working because it's in heating mode. Yeah, he fucking hell, he's hot. Yeah, and he works. So I'm going to close the door. Let's see if we can get to 25 degrees. And then once we get to 25, we'll drop the set point down to uh, 18 and see if we can get the fridge to go down to 18 degrees. But I think this might just work. So this is the following day. Um, had everything hooked up yesterday. I thought it was going to be simple and easy. As you can see the cooling function. Oh, it works. Fridge is on cooling. We have the heater, the fan, the little breaker box and the temperature transducer. Here. So you would think when the ink bird reads cooling, you would not be able to turn on the heater. 
That is not the case. So I did a little test yesterday. Uh, even though it said it was cooling, it got up to I think 45 degrees centigrade in there, and then I decided to cancel the test because, yeah, if I had left this unattended, I don't know how hot it would have gone. Probably would have burned down the house, or at least melted the entire fridge to my floor. So contacted Amazon, they're going to send me a refund and I'm going back to the trusty STC 1000. I'm sorry Inkbird, maybe it's just a random faulty device, but when you're talking about the safety of the people in the rest of my apartment, I do not trust your thermal controllers anymore. So I don't know what to do today, I'll leave it there for the cooling maybe, yeah, the cooling seems to be working fine though. It was 2 degree delta and it wouldn't turn the cooling back on, even though it was set to 0.3. So I think the thing's pretty fucked. I don't know. So, today I'm brewing. I'm going to tidy up my mess from yesterday. Start weighing out some grains. Strike water is on. He's heating away in the kitchen. Another sunny day in the Netherlands. The second sunny day of the summer. Thank you. And strike water is on. So, in conclusion, with the review from the Inkbird, it seemed to keep temperature pretty well, uh, plus or minus 0.3 degrees, as requested. So, I'm just unfortunate that the heating didn't work. I contacted Amazon, they said they can't replace it, so just send it back. So I have to send that back tomorrow. So, unfortunately, the Inkbird did not do the job. And today we're going to do, or in the next video, which is today, but I'm going to split it up, is the STC-1000. So we're going to wire one of these guys up, and I'll show you how to wire one of those. So, happy brewing everybody. Keep up the good work. Oh, jazz.